so now is ignoring exception so ignoring exception let's say your one of the method is uh, throwing this exception and uh, because of that um, uh, you know your execution is terminating right so um, here what you can do you can just uh, use this ignoring exception method to ignore the exception then your execution would not terminate okay so let me create couple of methods here and then you will understand so i'm having this method and let me make this pass and let's say i am creating one more care method called at the rate test public void add method let's say i'm adding i'm having one method called add or div right and here what i am doing i am getting int c equal to 9 by 0 in system dot out dot print ln i am printing the value of c and i am having two more methods verify title and verify title one so let me change the name So, uh, so here in this test ng class, what will be the flow, guys? Can you tell me what would be the flow here? First would be the browser setup. Hmm. Then it is. Hmm. Uh, title verify hmm. then verify title okay Tatara? yeah the same model browser setup div hmm. uh, title verify then verify it okay let's run this So we have the console here and uh, nine divided by zero exception. Yeah. So nine divided by zero on line number. Line number twenty-four, right? So this this line is giving you the exception, right? And because of this only this test case got failed right so three passed one failed now uh, in test ng we have something called uh, uh, ignoring exception so if i specify that here ignoring exception and then here i t s m e arithmetic exception dot class uh, ignoring one second ignoring exception so not ignoring expected expect exception expected exception So, uh, I am notifying the test ng uh, that I am expecting this exception. So, please mark my test case as passed. Okay. So, if I do this, then my this test case would not be uh, marked as failed in your overall report. Okay. And this time you, you can see the your div method is also passed. Right, Tisha? Yeah, understood. Hmm. Yeah. So you can uh, specify this expected exception method and then 
you can ignore that exception so likewise you can use any any exception here okay next is your assert true and assert equal right so assert true and assert equal uh so we have been using assert equals also and assert true also right so assert is a class assert dot and here you see lot of methods right so it comes from assert class assert equal boolean then boolean array likewise you you have actual result and expected result okay and uh, there is one uh, uh, one more parameter which is there called string message if that particular uh, assert is getting filled then only the string message would be printed on the console okay so if i use this method and then uh, let's say uh, your title is actual and you are expecting let's say google.com google and here your string message so title not matching okay so that this string message would be printed only when this assert is failing right so if if the assert is passing then this type then this string message will not be printed Okay, uh, let me remove this. We don't need this. So, and let me remove this also. So this time I am having only two methods. One is to launch the browser, and second is to get the title and then check if the title is same or not. So this time. it got passed and it will not print anything on the console because it got passed right let's say i am making this fail and instead of google i am making this google one and then this time let's see whether this string message is getting printed or not okay this time it got failed and so title not matching it matching right so this string message is printed here expected google but found google one expected google one and but found google if i don't write this title not matching then the string which we are getting here will not be printed okay let me remove this and show show you how we are doing this so this time also it got filled and it just giving expected google but found google right so there is no message here all right so that is the use of string message along with assert equal assert equal okay so we can use assert equal for uh, validating your responses or validating your result likewise we have assert dot assert true right so we discussed about equals right and you can compare any we have not equals also which will actually compare whether this is not equal or not or not okay and assert true so there is true uh wherein you will pass the boolean condition right so uh Uh, whichever the uh, you know uh, a statement returns the boolean result that you can pass here and if that is true it would be considered for uh, you know it would be considered as pass if it is false it would be considered as failed so do you remember anything which returns boolean result as of now so compare to uh, Compared to can, uh, no. Compared to gives the uh, integer value. Integer value. Integer value. Yeah. Dot equals contains that gives. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's say I am using title dot equal. So equal will uh, actually return true or false, right? Yeah. 
So equals what? Title I am getting Google. And let's say I am writing Google in a small. Okay, so it will ideally be false, right, Disha? Yes. Because equals returns that equals is basically used for two-way comparison. Right, so it returns true or false, and equals is actually doing the string comparison. What string I am getting here is capital G double O G L E, but here I am comparing with small g, right? So it should ideally be the result of this would be the boolean result, and that would be false, right? So ideally it would be false, and this test case would would be considered as false. Okay, so this test case is considered as false because expected true but found false, right? And instead of this, if I make capital G, then it would be passed. This time both the test cases got passed. And with this, we are having a string message also. So Title not matched. Okay, so this time it won't be printed anything because it got passed. But if I make this fail deliberately, then you will get that along with your assertion error. So console and title not matched, expected to but found false. Yeah, this, this browser setup passed and verify title field. All right. Yes. Sitara? Yes. Okay, let me close this. Okay, so now assert true and equal, I mean, we can use likewise, okay. True string message, likewise we can use. Next is your test ng annotations. We will be talking about test ng annotations, right? So we have seen at the rate test, right? Now we have something called at the rate before test, at the rate after test, at the rate before method, at the rate after method, at the rate before class, at the rate after class, at the rate before suite, and at the rate after suite. These are the common annotations which you, you would be mostly using. We do have other annotations also. You can check it here. So, Open this test ng and then expand this further. Uh, one second. Yeah, so test ng annotations. You can see here after class, before, after group, after method, after suite, after test, before, before, before. Data provider factory, I annotation, configuration. So all these are annotations which we have in test ng, right? So as of now, we are looking into after class, after method, after test, before class, before method, before test, at the rate test. Okay. So likewise, we have assert collection internal internal annotations are also there. Okay, so it is having so many annotations and so many additional things are there. Okay, now. Any idea about annotations, guys? What do you, what do you mean by annotation? It defines what that uh, method is or how, when that method will execute. Okay. Like when if it is at the rate test, then that is a test case. If it is given as before test, uh, Suppose there are two test cases we have written. Uh, first is A test case, second is B test case. And if we are writing, writing before test in 
V test, then uh, V test will execute uh, before A test, something like that. But hmm. just, just a rough, rough thing. Okay, so let me go. In, let me go in that order. So before, before method. Before your test, before your class, before your suite, and then after method, after test, after class, and after suite. Okay, so. Uh, we have discussed about at the rate test, right? Now, before method and after method, what it does is before every method, right? So th this this uh, test would be executed. Where it is useful, as in like, let's say I am having browser launch and quit uh, tear down of browser, right? So those are kind of pre and post conditions, right? So those are yeah. kind of pre and post conditions. And um, every time I run a new test case, I want my browser to be set up. And once that test test execution is finished, I want my browser to be closed, right? So, so annotated, this annotation will be run before each test case in the current class is invoked. Okay. So before method and after method is nothing but this annotation, this annotated method would be run would be run before each test case each test case of in the current class is invoked okay likewise after method this annotated method would be run after each test case in the current class is invoked So this is quite useful when you need to launch browser for every test case to be executed, right? So let me mark this with at the rate before method and uh, set up this, 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 and uh, let's remove this from here. So here I am just launching my browser and uh, at the rate test let's say google title verify and for verifying google title what i have to do i have to navigate to google then title then your uh, assert right so this is your test case like you will be navigating to that url then uh, you will be retrieving the title and then you will be finally checking the assert likewise i'm having let's say another method public void uh, this time let's say icici title verify and then uh, in this also let me copy paste this code i am having another method called at the rate test and public void facebook title verify Okay, and finally, I am using public void tear down, and which would be my after method. So driver dot quit, right? So it would be my after method. So after method, before method. Okay. And then at the rate test, at the rate test, at the rate test, right? And here driver dot get Google driver dot get ICICI bank dot com and here Facebook dot com and here get title and then uh, let's say 
assert equal. And then let's say here I am matching with, uh, let it be there. And then this also let it be failed. Okay. So what would be my execution flow guys this time? I am having five methods. Two are annotated with before method. Sorry, one is annotated with before method and one is annotated with after method. And there are three test cases which I need to execute. So what would be my order here? Uh, can you tell me what would be the order here? Okay, so uh, before that, can you move to Eclipse? Yeah. So this before method uh, would be run mm -hmm. uh, before running all the test cases uh, in the class. So first will be Google title. Uh, uh, first will be browser setup. Mm -hmm. Then Google title verifier. Mm -hmm. Then again browser setup. Then Facebook verify. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry. After I see uh, first browser setup, then Google title verify. Then after method mm -hmm. that okay. is clear down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then again, it will next one again. A browser setup, hmm. then uh, I see uh, uh, Facebook, right? No, F is there. Now I'm sorry, first. Uh, yeah, I understood. understood. Order, so the F, would, understood. Be, yeah, F yeah. would be first and then G. First, right? yeah, then G. Uh -huh. so, so the order Google exactly time. before hmm. method, then your test, and then after method. Then after method. And that yeah, would be repeated for all yeah. three test cases, right? All the three test cases, yeah. So overall, there would be nine test case execution, right, guys? Right. Yes. Sitara? Yeah. Understanding, right? Yes. Okay. And the test cases would be picked on the basis of alphabetical order here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's run this and see. Is it really before method, after method, and how it is doing? So fast. Okay, so my test case execution is completed. Facebook title verify not matched. Title not matched. So past Google title. Field ICICI and field Facebook.com, right? So this is actually uh, your before method and after method are not considered for your uh, test at the rate test annotation. So let me check if we have any report there. So refresh and then test output. Open with Yeah, so eventually what happened, uh, the before method and after method are not considered for your test case count. Only the test cases count, whatever the methods are annotated with at the rate test, those are considered here, right? So out of three, two were filled and one was passed, right? But overall, the flow is your before method, then test, and then after method. Again, the before method and the test and the after method. 
right? So that is what the use of at the rate before method and at the rate after method. Right? Now next. So next. while uh, Nitin, just one question. So while execution, it took uh, after method and before method in consideration, but in report, it did not show up. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It is. Okay. Yeah, it is. It, that is the case. Okay. okay. Now, what is the use of before test or after test? Uh, this might uh, run before each test case in the current class is invoked. Okay. Before each test case in current class is invoked. Okay. So what is the difference with before method or after method? Uh, no, there should be a specific test case uh, before which it should run. You mean to say you need to specify the test case name, is it? Like, I mean, uh, like that. Just a logic that uh, that test case, particular test case should run before the, uh, the given test case. I mean, something like that. Hmm. So as in like we have used before method here, right? So if I denote some test case as before test, right? So that test case would be executed only for the test, which is annot annotated with at the rate test in the same class. Uh, irrespective of the uh, name, method name. Yeah, irrespective of the method name. Okay. Okay. So uh, that would not run for before at the at the rate before method or any other annotated method in the same class. It just if any method which is annotated with at the rate test, right? So for that only it would be executed. Okay, so let's see this. So at the rate test, at the rate before test, let's mark some of the test cases. At the rate before test. Public void. Uh, Google, let's say Google. Navigation. And here, let me keep this and after test let's say at the rate after test public void Verify to verify Google title. And we don't have title here. So To after test what can we do here control x Title search dot title and then here let's say Google and in after test let's say I'm writing like test finished. Okay, so navigating to Google.
okay, so before test here and after test here it would be actually invoked for all the methods which are annotated with at the rate test annotation right so i am having three methods here at right? one two and three so every time at the rate test method is annotated before that this at the rate before test and at the rate after test would be annotated would be executed and before method anyways it would be executed right because before every method making sense so we can have some other annotations also like um, at the rate data provider and all that so at the rate test would be at the rate before test and after test is basically useful only for the annotated method with the at the rate test at the rate test annotation okay and anything other than at the rate test annotation that would be considered uh, for before, for test, before test, test and, and after, after test, test understood yeah. now yeah. and before yeah. method and after method would be applicable for that that, that annotation everything yeah. yeah all the methods all the methods yeah so here I mean uh, we are not using the specific result because it would be like uh, similar to what we are using before method and after method right so i can going forward whenever we are doing when we are doing this at, our, at the rate data provider and when we are using the other annotation that time it would be more appropriate to give you the example okay so just for the sake of uh, completion what it got till to google navigation cannot invoke driver dot cat so before method was not executed is it In browser setup facebook tear down browser setup google title tear down Facebook tear down. What is the order it is picking? First, Google navigation, because that's a before test. Then browser setup. One second. Take time. 